Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam from MobileTechVideos.com. Today we're going to take a look at a pretty cool ROM for our Google Nexus 7. So hang out, we'll be right back. So yeah, I decided to try this ROM. This is a MyUI ROM. Uh, which I am not a big fan of my UI personally, but this one is actually pretty cool. I, I, I like what they've done with it. Uh, this one is brought to the Nexus 7 by Anon 9 Mouse, I believe is how we're going to pronounce that. And uh, But it's also brought by the myui.us team. And first of all, is it myui? Is it MUI? MUI? I don't know. I prefer my UI. I think that makes more sense. It's my user interface. So that's what we're going with. That's what I'm saying it is. From now on, everybody, it's my UI. Okay. This one, you can check out the thread, and there's a link in there to go to the change log for this version. A lot of stuff has been fixed from previous versions. I'll tell you that right now. A lot of things that have to do with the phone and the messaging, which doesn't really apply to our device. So. We're going to skip over a lot of that. In fact, if you want to take a look at the full change log list, I will put a link down below to the XDA thread where you can download this. And like I said, uh, within that thread is a link to the change log. So right off the bat, guys, we have this interesting wallpaper. Nothing happens when you tap. Uh, you can tap on the buttons, but they don't seem to do anything. In order to get into the device, you have to slide from the left to the right. And it does this accordion fold looking thing. From the right to the left, nothing. Left to the right, slides right open. And then we have our home screen here. You can add several different screens and change the widgets on each. Now this is the thing, this is one of my first issues with my UI is it doesn't have a dedicated app drawer. Uh, all your apps are just on your home screens here very similar to the iOS and you can drag and if I can get it long press and you can drag this wherever you want it and you can rearrange and that's cool uh, but I like an app drawer that's just my personal thing you can long press on widgets and your trash can will pop down and you drag it up there to the trash this widget is huge for this little clock I was noticing that. I tried to put it on this screen over here and it was too big. Long press takes you into your widgets and you can choose which panel you want to put it on there. And these widgets are, it's very similar to the old TouchWiz where the widgets pop up at the bottom and if you want to add one you just drag it up and drop it wherever you want it. No, thank you. I don't want to do that. So you see, here's the clock widget. And look how big that widget is. Just for that little clock. Maybe uh, calendar information will go on there or something. I don't know, but crazy. So anyway, you can do it that way. You can also hit your menu button here and click on edit widgets and it will do the exact same thing. I do like having a menu button down here. Uh, go into our settings here. We have common settings that you need to access more often and then you have your full settings list. We'll go down here to about phone even though it's not a phone. I do like all this information up here in this section. Makes it easier. Model number just says Nexus 7 Android version 4.1.2 my UI version 2.10.26.0 CPU quad core 1.5 gigahertz our RAM available RAM is 1 gigabyte memory the available memory is a little over 4.5 gigabytes and the total memory is 8 gigabytes Wow, four and a half gigabytes are being used. I need to clear out some stuff here. We go back. 
One cool thing I want to show you guys is this My UI toolbox right here. And this is where you can kind of customize a lot of stuff on here. You can customize the status bar, which incidentally uh, you'll see up here instead of the carrier name, which it was by default said no service because we don't have any phone service, any mobile networks here. Uh, I changed it to a picture of myself, so that's pretty cool. So you see here you can change the carrier label or change the logo. Uh, I decided to change the logo and I, like I said, I put a picture of yours truly up there. So everyone knows whose device this is. Actually, I should put a picture of Mobile Tech videos up there because it's actually their device. But <laughs> Uh, and you swipe to the left and you can customize other things like colors. We can customize the launcher, the nav bar, CPU information, ADB Wi-Fi. This one is called Extras. This one is experimental, so you know you can try these if you'd like, mess around with them, and then you have a change log. So lots of stuff to check out there. Our drop down, nope, nope, get back down there. Drop down notification bar. Uh, we have toggles and you can swipe. I think you can anyway. There you go. Swipe to get to the notifications, which we don't have any right now. We have our task manager here with our running apps and a button to clear those and free up some memory. Then you get a little message there telling you how much memory you freed up. One of the great things about my UI ROMs is the themes. There's tons of themes that you can get for this. This was the one that we were running uh, a second ago. Comes default. And I added this one here, uh, kind of reminiscent of old school Android with the lock screen there, but the black theming. I really like that. That's what we have right now. Uh, if you go to online here though, there's just a ton that you can get and download. You just click on one and it loads up. You are online so it takes a little few minutes to load. You read a little bit of information about it. Once it does load, you get some preview pictures here and uh, just click on that to download it. Once it is downloaded, like we before here, you come over to yours and you click on one and click that to apply it. But this is the one that I just put on. You see it darkens the dock down here at the bottom. You've got some theming in your drop down notification bar as well as your menus are backed in black as is the and then you have a dark transparent back for your settings. If we go to check out our lock screen, if I can hit it, sorry my arm's in the way there, uh, you've got this old school Android slider, uh, almost similar to kind of a, a mix between the old Android Froyo, I believe it was, and an iPhone. The slide to unlock. So there we go. That is a quick look at my UI for the Nexus 7. If you're looking for something a little different than the normal Android, Google Android look and feel, then this might be a great option for you. Uh, like I said before, I will put a link down below so you can check out the thread. While you're over there, guys, if you're feeling generous, you can donate to the developer. It always helps those guys out, and they appreciate it. You can also check us out, mobiletechvideos.com, your complete source for all your mobile device needs. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook, and we'll see you in the next video.